Good evening from New York. Are you tired of Trump's constant lying? The mental illness of punishing attitudes. Voting for Kamala respects workers as trading partners, not slaves, which can, and which can heal minds. Um, is lying constantly presidential? Are you tired of Trump's lies? Send your comments. Punishing attitudes harm not just the punished, but those doing the punishing. Healing minds with the exercise of empathy and awareness is a far better approach. Putting people who are dangerous to live free in society should serve time, but with healing approaches. And advances in brain research can help us know when that healing has occurred. Believe it or not. Hateful punishing of sick minds makes monsters out of otherwise healthy minds. We should never stoop that low. And when we do, it lowers the virtuous love of all of us. How would you take action to make this possible? Kamala and Walls are pro-union. Without this trade, isn't uh, fair to workers. Without this trade, there's no real fair trade for workers. Oh. And without fair trade, there is no free trade. Workers aren't just costs to business. Businesses can be costs to workers. Workers and even small businesses need government support to level the playing field. And businesses can form associations that help them. Workers should be able to do that as well. Uh, killing unions, which gave us the five day work week and ended ch child labor, is a constant intent of the far right. This disrespects workers as trading partners and hurts the self-esteem and minds of all workers, managers or otherwise. How would you increase union participation? Shouldn't the government of, for, and by the people include real empowerment of all trading partners? What is your opinion? Wage slaves is an apt term, and government needs to make sure that wage earners are empowered to help themselves and each other. You know, thus not being slaves. Are you a free trading agent if only, if your only choice 
is to work for the next oppressive business down the street. This channel is about empowering virtuous love to flow in all of our communications with empathetic and aware perspectives within ourselves and between ourselves. This takes courage. Do you have that courage? You are then invited to join future Zoom calls so that your voice can be empowered. Democracy is about power to the people, not power to greed and corporations and high earners. It is about all trading partners. Let's discuss this on this channel. What are your comments? Do you wish to expand this communication? Share this video. Do you want your love to be heard? Let's all help one another to give voice to all loving hearts. May the road rise to meet you, and may democracy and real free trade and love unite our hurting world. Until next time, make a better world. You know you can. Thanks for listening.